Imagine, you've got an iPhone and boom, you're sent a magical image. And just like that, your phone's soul is compromised. But don't gasp just yet. There's more to this twisty, pixelated plot. The real villain is the Web of P format. It's kind of like that misunderstood kid in school with a dubious reputation. Thanks, Google. They birthed this format back in 2010, envisioning it as the crown prince of image formats. Cool features, loads, like the jazziness of GIFs, the sneakiness of PNGs, and the slimming effect of JPGs. But there's a plot twist. Ever tried opening a web P image? Unless you've got a superhero browser, it's like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Even Google's own child, Google Docs, looked at AltWeb and said, nah, not today. But like a phoenix from the ashes, .webp's popularity has doubled. Now, even Adobe and Windows are on team .webp. But wait, there's another player entering our story. NSO Group, the super secretive spyware makers. They found a chink in the WebEP armor specifically for iPhones. This sneaky tech trick was dubbed Blast Pass. The mechanism? Craft a malicious WebP image, sneak it into an Apple Wallet Pass, send it via iMessage, and poof, the recipient's phone is under a spell, without them even knowing. NSO's secret weapon, a spyware named Pegasus, the Rolls Royce of digital dark arts. This spyware doesn't just snoop, it virtually moves into your phone, going through your messages, turning on your mic and peeking through your camera. Just when we thought all hope was lost, a brave soul sent their phone to the digital wizards at Citizen Lab. The spell was broken, the bug reported, and the day kinda savet. But here's the cliffhanger. This issue isn't just an iPhone drama. The real problem, a library named Libweb. You see it by nearly everyone to deal with these images. And guess what? A gazillion softwares use it, yup. Even that app where you share memes with friends to add some spicy drama, Apple made it seem like an it's not you, it's me situation. Google followed suit, but the pixel drama was too big to be kept hush hush. Thankfully, this digital hiccup was a tough one to exploit, so the average Joe hacker couldn't exploit it. Thankfully, as our tale concludes, the problem is known and has been fixed. Safe to click on those memes again. Wondering how NSO got wind of this juicy vulnerability? It's like a spy movie, teams of hackers, secret trades, and a lot of money. I mean, when Apple's $1 million reward doesn't tempt you, there's always someone whispering offers in the shadows. Rumor has it, there's a $20 million bounty somewhere. Roll credits. Stay safe in the digital world, folks.